Hello, my name is Tianette von der Spey, and it is my great pleasure, together with Dr. Tina Stunder and the University of Pretoria, to present this X-band cross-coupled SIW cavity VCR. Now that title is quite a mouthful, but it's so for a very good reason. Firstly, it emphasizes the use of the cross-coupled topology, which was chosen for its good phase noise performance. And secondly, it highlights the use of the SIW cavity as the resonator, which was chosen for its high Q factor, as well as its good integration with planar circuits. The essence of this project was to combine these two technologies and, for the first time, to evaluate their effects on phase noise performance experimentally. This shows a summary of the main results of which I'd like to draw attention to the phase noise performance. However, for a more detailed overview, I urge you to visit our poster at ID 06-6 or to contact myself or Dr. Stander. Thank you very much. Hi, it's Nina Schreiner, and this is our thickness measurement system. By comparing a model to the measured data, we evaluate thicknesses below the Rayleigh resolution limit. Let's wait for some results. Six minutes for measurement rates of kilohertz. Let's start again from scratch. Here is the solution space with several somehow equidistant minima in white. After calculating their average distance, a corresponding set of equidistant initial points enables approaching all of the local optima, such as by steepest descent. Here's the global minimum. View calculation time, one second. Let's discuss the details during the poster session. Bye. Presenting a high-performance compact Class F power amplifier for 5G applications. A radical matching design approach. Also covering Wi-Fi 6E applications. Achieving high performance using gallium nitride technology for the 6 GHz band. A circuit which got US patent. Achieving practical class F topology up to third harmonic terminations. Measurements done in the Taiwan Best RFIC lab. To know more join us during the 15th European Microwave Integrated Circuit Virtual Conference. Hi, I'm Gianni Bosi from the University of Ferrara in Italy, and I'm presenting the result of the cooperation between my research group and the one of the University of Rome, Tor Vergata. The capability of the Doherty amplifier of achieving a high efficiency over a wide range of power made it a suitable candidate for the next generation of power amplifiers in RF transceivers. Its design requires accurate nonlinear transistor models operating both under class AB and C, and this is quite a challenging result to achieve. In this work, we combine a nonlinear characterization technique of the transistors with the identification of their nonlinear models to achieve a higher level of accuracy. We consider the gallium nitride on silicon technology and validate the proposed modeling approach on a two-stage MMIC DPA. Please have a look at the poster. I'll be online for your questions. You have to solve a safety critical localization task in an indoor environment. You need centimeter range accuracy, but your hardware doesn't support large bandwidth and your transponder is incoherent. Why not try and use holographic localization? Our holographic approach supports not only incoherent transponders, it also does not require large bandwidth, but still provides centimeter range accuracy. 
Want to know more? Tune in to Poster Eurat 15 One.